Okay, so we just watched Bombad Jedi. Um, so half the episode is a serious discussion about the sacrifices leaders have to make for the good of their people at a time of war. And the other half is Jar Jar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this episode has Jar Jar Binks and C-3PO. Don't help me, Allison. You're not helping. You're not. And, um, yeah. It's funny, Alice and I both realized while we were watching this episode that this was actually the first episode of The Clone Wars that we saw. <laughs> like, on t when it was on TV, we saw this on TV. I watched, I saw the first scene with, with 3PO and Jar Jar, and I think I turned it off after that. I watched a scene where Padme gets captured, and she's like, you won't get away with this, or whatever. And then I saw Jar Jar trying to be a Jedi, and then that's when I turned it off. Yeah. <laughs> All things considered, though, this actually isn't a terrible episode. Like, stop uh, bringing it close to my face. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Give me this. Like, Jar Jar sucks, obviously, because he's Jar Jar. But even in terms of Jar Jar, he's not nearly as annoying as he is in the in the prequels. And at least he actually drives the plot in this one. Yeah. There's like the the plot of the episode is half of it is. Uh, Pat, I almost called her Leia. Padme, um... That's her daughter. Padme convincing this senator guy to stay with the Republic even though they haven't been feeding their people and they really need the Separatist help. Um, and the other half is Jar Jar gets mistaken as a Jedi while he's trying to protect Padme. And it's actually pretty funny that he gets mistaken as a Jedi. And, like, the jokes are generally amusing as opposed to... <sighs> Jar Jar stepping in poop, like in the prequels. Yeah. So, <laughs> but, okay, so, they open the closet. Um, oh, yeah, we have to talk about this one. <laughs> it's not, I'm bringing this up, because I brought it up first. Uh, sorry, my eyes, allergies. Um, they, they open the closet, and there's one Jedi cloak in there. They're like, oh, who's Je whose cloak is this? And I'm like, oh, that's Anakin's. It's Jar, Jar, Jar Jar and 3PO go and hide in the closet when yeah. the battle droids come into the ship, and Anakin's cloak is there. And they're like, yeah. whose cloak could this be? And I, Allison's like, why is Anakin's cloak there? And I'm like... Do I really have to answer that? No, and then, and then I'm thinking like, well, why the hell are they like no, doing? Why three are they doing minutes that? Later, <laughs> no, 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 no. This wasn't the same conversation. I'm like, well, why are they doing it on a ship? That just like the ship is small. Like, they're, where are they doing it? Like, right on the floor in front of the control pad. Does not make any sense? Right. And, and, and which they have to do it wherever they can because they, obviously they can't do it in a room. Someone could walk in. Yeah. But then three minutes pass, three minutes of silence, and us watching the watching the episode, and she goes, "Why is just his robe there?" <laughs> so uh, yeah, <laughs> so I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, "It doesn't make any like that robe's not covering anything. Why doesn't he have any other clothes though? Like like a shirt or something? It doesn't make any sense." <laughs> Seventeen and I have to give her the birds of the bees talk. Okay. Is that true? So this episode isn't great, but it's a standalone I'm sorry, episode. I've had so much sugar and I'm really <laughs> tired. It comes into play much later in the series. They bring this incident up again. Um, but With really, the cloak? <laughs> no, no, just about the senator. But like, really, even in terms of Jar Jar, it's not bad. It, it was. It's genuinely amusing how how he gets missing for a Jedi. The only thing I will say is, um, so the Pix Pixar believes that um, Pixar. What does Pixar, Pixar have to do with this? A character luck or clumsiness or something to that effect can get a character into trouble, but that getting a character out of trouble is cheating. And Jar Jar falls into that a lot. Yeah. Almost everything he does is him being a clumsy idiot, and it's complete luck, and it gets him out of trouble all the time. Um, but this episode actually balanced that out a little bit with he really was consciously doing things that act were actually... <coughs> I'm actually praising Jar Jar now. <laughs> this is weird. But, we hate like, Jar Jar. I'm not, I'm not... He's still... I still would have preferred for him not to be in this episode. <laughs> he's still annoying. His, <laughs> his scenes are still painful. But... They're not as bad as they were in the prequel. They actually drive the plot. They're, they were a little amusing. It was okay. So, sorry. Um, so, so, um, 
the so we know Charger's in the episode when we go into the episode and then like like what are like five minutes into the episode or whatever, the the droids, my favorite droids, come in. <laughs> Not I also like the battle droids. <laughs> I love the battle droids. So they come in. So, so this so, episode has three PO, Jar Jar and the Battle Droids. It's like all the annoying of Star Wars condensed into one episode. How do I make it not dim That's anymore? Not on <laughs> touch screen. Okay. <laughs> I think that's all we really have to say about this episode. This episode was a standalone, but we actually had a lot to say about it, more so than the ARC episode we just watched. Well, that's because this was, like, our first episode individually. Yes, we, we didn't even watch the episode together, the original. No, it was like, we both had, had at some point flipped through the channels and found this series. Yeah. Um, so I was like, oh, Clone Wars. All right, let's check that out. Oh, this is stupid. Oh, hey, that's Padme. Oh, the this other, is stupid. Eo Jar Jar. The other, <laughs> the other first episode I saw was with you can't have two first episodes. Well, I remember a scene from this and another scene that I saw when it was still on TV. So you can't have with, two first episodes. You have a first episode and a second episode. With a traitor clone, and I only watched the scene where they catch him. Okay, um, that's pretty much all I have to say about this episode. We actually said a lot about it. And like like I said, it's not too bad. Even with Jar Jar 3PO, it's, it's a pretty amusing episode. And it, it it's really funny because half of it really is about, oh... What does a leader have to do to guarantee the good of his people in wartime, even when one side is clearly morally worse than the other, but they're going to feed your people? What are you supposed to do about that? Like, half of the episode really is dedicated to this. And, like, yeah. like Jar Jar's not even in a lot of scenes where they're, it's just the senator and his advisor, and they're just talking about what they have to do. And they're like, the separatists are going to do this and this, and that's horrible, Like, but our people are starving. Um, so so it should, the episode really does focus on that more than Jar Jar, which is really good. So I decided that in order for a scene to make sense to the audience, there has to be at least one English speaker. Hence the reason why C-3PO speaks English and not right. droid. That's why C-3PO <laughs> is in a lot of scenes, especially in the future of the series. Yeah, That's why 3PO with, was there to yeah. translate. And, and you notice with the two senators? Yeah. yeah the two the, senators were both... One that speaks English, the other doesn't... Yeah, they were both the Sorry, race I keep that, tilting the... They were both the race that Greedo is. Um, and one of them spoke in their native tongue, and the senator responded in English. And they could have put subtitles in, and that would have been fine. That's what they did in Cantina. Right, but they just did it in this case. And they were like, he'll just respond in English. And we see him speaking English earlier, so so it's not like... Oh, he's speaking English for no reason. We've established that he's a senator and he knows English. Um, but it is odd that when he's alone with his native, with another native speaker, that he's now using his native tongue. Yes, for the audience. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's clearly for the audience. But that didn't even bother me too much. I just noticed it, because it's, it's not just in this episode, it's in all episodes right, of Star Wars. Right, it's a little... <laughs> it's really funny. Right, it, it's... For this episode, it was a little weird... And Star Trek does this also, though. Star Trek Klingons, never... Klingons speak English in the original series. When, they're, when the yeah. Klingons are by themselves, they still speak English. And and the, much later and in DS9 and in, and in Voyager, they start yeah. changing that. Well, they'll, they'll be speaking their native tongue in there and they'll have subtitles. But, like, before that, they just speak yeah. English. And that'd be like... What are yeah. you doing? <laughs> no, yeah, no. The, well, that that was also but just you know, for the audience. That was always, just for right, but to like, move the plot because everybody's I think, everybody's done this. Old yeah, no, movies I where think, they have German accents instead of actually speaking German when yeah. in World War Two. It's like, come on, you don't you're not speaking English. No, like, and and I know, I think it's because um, I don't know. This, it's just I don't know if this is just me or if this is just like like a normal thing but like when you hear when you're watching something and you're watching something that's like made in an English speaking or your native speaking area and they start speaking a different language you just automatically tune out so that may be also why because if it's if think, it's advancing the plot they need them to speak whatever the native think, tongue is I just think it's it's a lot of cases people sorry would, mm -hmm. people would rather listen to the show than, than have to read the show and I think yeah. that's what it is a lot of times they'll try to avoid using subtitles uh, but it, did, it really didn't bother me that much because it's something I'm so used to in other shows. I just want somebody to subtitle R2-D2. We have almost That's 10 minutes talking about this one episode that has Jar Jar in it. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> 